School coverage continues this morning with the superintendent from the Madison Public Schools, Dr. Jennifer Cheatham, is in. This is now kind of an annual Ask Jen segment. Apparently so. Well, let's get right <laughs> to it. We have our first question comes from a fifth grader named Stedman. What inspired you to become head of these schools? What inspired you, Jen Cheatham, to become head of Madison Schools? I wanted to make a difference in the lives of children. And in Madison, um, not only were there a lot of strengths to build on, um, we talked about this last year, yeah. um, but, uh, but challenges to face. And I, I'm ready for those challenges. Let me follow up with that. Anything different than you expected? I mean, what's, what's been the, the main thing that's kind of caused you to say, I didn't expect this? I don't think that when I came here three years ago, I realized the just a multitude of resources that we have right, to support yeah. youth and families in particular. I just, the, the bounty that exists in Madison, I don't think I realized it, and, and we're really fortunate. I want to get to one more question here real quick. Grace uh, and a number of other people wrote in, what can be done to give elementary kids more time to eat lunch? Right now they only have 20 minutes or so to actually get through their lunch. I think this is a really interesting issue and one that I've had to study earlier in my career. Mm -hmm. um, what is the right amount of time? What is the time of day? How does that work best in conjunction with recess? And um, I would suggest that parents talk to their principals. Principals design their school-based schedules mm -hmm. um, and we would support a principal that would want to make a change in either the length or the way that um, the way that lunch works in conjunction with recess in particular. So I say talk to your principals and, and we can see if we can make something happen. Good idea. All right, Superintendent Cheatham is going to be around all morning long answering your questions for the rest of the hour. Um, we also, if you want to go to the live Facebook stream, she's going to be answering, taking over our Facebook live stream, where she's going to be answering some questions on that as well. So stick around. News 3 this morning. We'll be right back. Superintendent Cheatham, she joins us live now in studio to answer some of your questions as your kids head back to school. Thanks again for coming in this morning. Sticking around and yeah. taking the questions. Yeah, it's fun. It. So uh, I want to get right to it. Rachel Meyer Sawyer, uh, Sour? Yeah, sour? Sour. Sour, got yeah. it. Is uh, on Facebook. She asked, is the district considering a no homework policy for elementary school? We are not considering <laughs> a no homework policy. And there's actually been some press on this issue mm -hmm. lately. Um, you know, it's something I want to study a little bit more. But um, I while the research base that I'm familiar with doesn't show that homework has necessarily a positive effect academically, um, we're shooting for a more well-rounded skill set. We, and some of those skills are difficult to measure, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just about academic content and what you're learning, but about just the study habits that you need to, to garner throughout your school career to be ready for life after school. Um, the other uh, kind of non-cognitive skill sets and, um, and I think that's what I want to understand more. What is the impact that homework practice, mm -hmm. right, that the practice of doing homework have on, on those, that, that more important skill set, or I mean just as important skill set as uh, academic mm -hmm. content. As a parent, I, I don't mind it, I'll just tell you. I, mean, <laughs> I may be in the minority. I kind of like the idea. I think it sets a good yeah, practice. Yeah, I think so um, too. Let's go. Our next question uh, is on videotape. It's from a second grader named Samuel. I think we're actually going to Nicholas next. Oh, are we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My name is Nicholas, and I will be in 12th grade this year at East High School. My question is, will the starting time for school this year change in comparison to previous years? So school start times, the question whether it's going to change. I mean, we, obviously middle school right now is the focus, but yeah. overall school time starts? Um, it's funny, I met Nicholas at the uh, Mendota block party <laughs> over the weekend. He's a great kid. Um, I, I think it very well may for middle school. Yeah. Um, the research uh, on start times really focuses on secondary students, adolescents, middle and high school, and generally says that it's the, the start time should be no earlier than around 8.30. And right now our high schools are around 8.15, 8.30. So mm -hmm. we're feeling pretty comfortable with their start times. But middle school is 7.35 at most of our middle schools. Um, so we're looking at it this year and we're, we're uh, attempting to come up with a plan to change it. And if it all goes well, it would change the year after. So not this uh, fall, but the following fall. All right, second grade Sam has this question now. <laughs> okay, my name is Samuel. I'm going into second grade and my question is, well, why can't you bring phones into school?
<laughs> went to school in second grade. Um, what a cutie. I, um, phones are a distraction in school, guys. Um, we do um, uh, allow people, students, to bring their phones to school, but to use them in class um, requires specific guidance from teachers. So there are times when a teacher will allow students to use phones, potentially, mm -hmm. for educational purposes. Um, it, it actually can be a, a nice tool. Um, depending on what the task is. But generally speaking, uh, students, kids, they need to put the phones away <laughs> during class because we want you to stay focused on, on what's happening. Yeah, that makes sense. I can understand. <laughs> yeah. um, you're gonna be sticking around answering some more questions. We have a bunch more that uh, we didn't get to in this segment, but we wanted to make sure that people get an opportunity right. to have them answered. So we'll answer them on the Facebook live stream. Thanks, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you.